The hamstrings consist of three muscles, the bicep femoris, semitendinosus, and semimembranosus. First, we'll go over the bicep femoris, which has two heads, a long head and a short head. So the origin for the long head is on the ischial tuberosity, and the origin for the short head is on the linea aspera and the lateral supracondylar line of the distal femur. The insertion of the bicep femoris will come down to insert on the fibular head, the lateral collateral ligament of the knee, and the lateral tibial condyle. The bicep femoris is essentially innervated by the sciatic nerve, but the sciatic nerve is made up of two components, a tibial division and a common peroneal or common fibular division. So the long head of the biceps femoris is innervated by the tibial division of the sciatic nerve L5, S1, S2, and the short head is innervated by the common peroneal division of the sciatic nerve L5, S1, and S2. The blood supply is provided by the branches of the femoral artery and the femoral profunda artery. The actions of the bicep femoris are primarily hip extension and knee flexion. Secondarily, bicep femoris will do hip and knee external rotation. The second member of the hamstrings family is the semitendinosus. It originates on the ischial tuberosity, comes down to insert on the tibia on the medial and proximal side by the pes and serine. Its innervation is the tibial division of the sciatic nerve, L5, S1, S2. Same blood supply branches of the femoral artery and the femoral profunda artery. Primary actions are the same as the bicep femoris with hip extension and knee flexion, but secondarily, the semitendinosus will perform hip and knee internal rotation. The third member of the hamstrings family is the semimembranosus. It also originates on the ischial tuberosity and comes down to insert on the medial tibial condyle. Its innervation is the tibial division of the sciatic nerve, L5, S1, S2. Same blood supply branches of the femoral artery and femoral profunda artery. It has the same actions as a semitendinosus with primary hip, primarily hip extension and knee flexion. Secondarily, the semimembranosus will perform hip and knee internal rotation. So the hamstring muscles all help with hip extension and knee flexion. However, the bicep femoris, shown in green, is more on the lateral aspect and it will help with hip and knee external rotation. Semitendinosus is shown in blue. Semimembranosus is shown in pink. Semimembranosus is deeper than the semitendinosus, and both of these will help with hip and knee internal rotation.